So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a blue eye. There's a fantastic collection in Chanel this summer called Les Bleus. So this is part of it, this blue palette. And so we're going to do a smoky blue eye, keeping it very dreamy, quite colourful, but also getting it quite intense. So first of all, I'm going to start on the brow bone, using the silver directly under the brow bone. Okay, so we're building now. We're building the silver into the, onto the brow bone. Okay, taking it a little bit down into the socket. Okay, then, now I'm going to take the pale blue and just take this along the eyelid. Okay, so both colours are completely blended. So I'm now moving on to the next colour in the palette, which is the navy midnight blue here. And then you can really lift the corner. It has that sort of point to it, you see, that helps you do that. Just look at the angle of the brush here, and then look how it works into the corner there. See? Look, it actually even creates a little shape there. I'm going to do the other eye. So, you know, getting two eyes is the same is always tricky. Always refer back to the other eye. Don't think that, you know, done one now and then. Just refer back to it. So having used um, the navy, I'm now moving on to the nearly black, in which case I would have used all four colours in the palette. So this is actually a really good palette. It's not, there's no reason to have one that stands out that you can't use. You can make them all work together. There we go. The little brush. It's Chanel. It's called Contour Shadow Brush. Just dotting it along underneath the, the lashes, between the lashes, and then blending that. So now I'm taking the same almost black, and I'm just going to fill in the outside corner. Just that. That's all I'm going to do. In the same collection, in the Bleu collection, is a very dark blue, fabulous midnight blue liner. Not about liner, so don't take it too far out, otherwise you're going to have to start creating a line. So Chanel have a new mascara out that is called, it's like, well what it is, it's um, Le Volume mascara, but it's a really intense black, so it's blacker than black. I'm going to remove the excess because I don't want too much on the brush. I'm not going to put the mascara wand back in the mascara, I'm going to use the same amount on the other side. Please note everybody, I haven't dipped the wand into the mascara. There's still enough mascara on it. So I'm taking the mascara along the bottom, all the way along the bottom, into the inside lashes as well. 
it'll give a more doughy effect, which I can do because the eye is very well balanced with all the colour on top. Okay, so now I'm going to balance the look with the brows, but not too much because the most important thing this, in this look for me is the very strong eyes. From the collection of Le Beige, we have three stick blushes. So I'm using the one which is the most rosy, it's the most neutral of the three. And it's just gonna get, you're actually gonna use it for my finger. I'm just gonna dot it on just here. Just for a weeny bit of color, that's all I'm doing. Just that much on each side. Just to highlight the cheek a fraction, okay? And then I'm just gonna dot it in this side. So it's just on the cheekbone. Just on the cheekbone. And on the cheekbone this side. Now looking at the face, I've decided I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, we Let's see if it works, okay, because I don't want to say to you, wow, it's going to be amazing, it might not look good, but I want to see how we can get on with this. So I'm taking something else in the Nebula collection, which is this amazing metallic silver, and I'm just going to do something, I'm just going to add this, look up darling, just underneath the eye here. So it looks like she's almost been crying, just there, do you see? So that, just there, looks like she could have been crying, which is so beautiful. And I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side, and that's it. I don't want to go any more extreme than that. I just wanted to add a little bit of a difference. Okay. Look how beautiful that looks. So it looks like her little eye's been watering. There's been a little tear that fell just there on both sides. Right? Now with the same powder, I'm just going to try and take it, open up big, my love. I'm just going to take it inside and see if it sticks. Just onto the lash, a little bit inside, on the inside rim. Just again, so it looks like she's been crying. That really soft, beautiful Bambi doe-eyed look. The look is now basically complete. We've done the eyes, we've done the brows, we've done the cheeks. One feature left, which is the lip. Now, I want to keep the eyes as the most important feature. So I'm going to use one of the new Rouge Coco lipsticks, which is called Louise. What a coincidence. That's amazing. I didn't know that. Anyway, so here we go. I'm going to use Louise. It looks like a sort of lovely sandy colour with a tiny bit of a gold flex to it. Only a weeny, weeny, tiny bit. Straight from the bullet onto the mouth. So here we have the finished look. So, you know, the eyes are definitely the focus. These wonderful blues and a very beige, muted mouth, soft cheeks, gorgeous skin, tiny bit of colour, so the whole focus is on the eye. And um, I think you look pretty great. <laughs>